You know, there's uh, plenty of reasons to use supplemental oxygen below the FAA's regulatory altitudes. And as we found in the portable oxygen system market scan in November 2020 issue of Aviation Consumer, there's some good choices. One favorite comes from Aerox. It's got a uh, interesting wireless interface that connects the uh, hardware from the tank to a good tablet app. Let's go down to the hangar and talk to Scott Ashton from Aerox, and then uh, we'll come back up here to the cockpit and see how it works on the app. Supplemental oxygen is one of the most important things that you can have on board the aircraft. And the reason is that as private pilots, when we go through our initial training as flight instructors, we teach our students 91 to 11, which is that you need supplemental oxygen above 12,500 feet uh, for any time over 30 minutes, and of course over 14,000 any time you're above that altitude. The reality is that research from Flight Safety Foundation and others show that your SpO2, which is your blood oxygenation level, can be below 90%, which is a critical level as al at altitudes as low as 8,000 feet. So supplemental oxygen in a 172 or a Warrior or a Cirrus, uh, if you're flying in, in New York airspace, say, and they put you up at 8,000 feet, you're going to be up at altitudes where your oxygenation level could be at that critical uh, level. And what that means is it means that you may not feel it right away, but at, at, over time, as you're flying along, you're going to feel fatigued, your decision making is going to be impaired, and when you land, you're going to feel a little bit foggy. And by going on supplemental oxygen at those altitudes, it's going to keep you more awake, more alert, and your decision making is going to be much better. So we encourage all pilots to have a, even a small supplemental oxygen tank on board for altitudes as low as 8,000 feet in just your day-to-day -day flying. And at night, it's even more important because at altitudes as low as 5,000 feet, your night vision can be severely impaired. So all pilots should have onboard oxygen, even in small tanks such as this, which is a, which is a small C-sized cylinder that Aerox sells, uh, two-place uh, two regulator with cannulas. You can throw it in the back of the airplane. It's lightweight, doesn't take up a lot of room, and when you need it, it's there. This is the Aerox OxySaver cannula system that comes with every portable oxygen system that most general aviation users are going to use below 18,000 feet. This system comes with a, um, uh, a connector that plugs into the uh, portable oxygen system with a metering valve that allows you to adjust the flow. It comes with a really easy to use flow meter that you can adjust for, uh, your flow based on the g given altitude that you're at. And then the mustache cannula, which is the OxySaver cannula that, that allows you to use less oxygen compared to a full flow oximizer or um, non-oximizer cannula. At altitudes above 18,000 feet, the pilot also has, with, it, with our system, a full flow mask. You can also use this for passengers that are having breath problems breathing through their nose as this delivers oxygen both to your mouth and to your nose. The regulations state that these, these cannulas are good for altitudes up to 18,000 feet. Above 18,000 feet, you have to use a mask by regulation. So you can use one of these masks, or Aerox also has masks that have microphones in them. Above 25,000 feet, we also have our, um, our diluter demand masks, which are masks that you would typically use in a King Air or a Citation or a, or a business jet like that. When you get your Aerox oxygen system delivered, it's gonna come with a number of components that are easy to put together. First is the tank. This is a C-sized tank, which for two users is good for about eight hours of, of utilization at 10,000 feet. You can get bigger tanks, you can get smaller tanks, depending on how often you use it and for what duration. The tank comes with a valve. The valve has a CGA 540 standard fitting that you can take to any FBO that has oxygen service and uh, that this is the, the fitting through which you get your tank filled when it's, when it's um, been depleted. It also has a gauge uh, with a green, with a green um, indicator that tells you that it's full at 2200 PSI. This particular unit has the Ithra Altus Mezzo transducer uh, installed in it that attaches to your iPhone app via uh, just wirelessly, uh, which is uh, super convenient and allows you to um, see how much oxygen you have in your tank uh, at any time during the flight. You're also going to get a regulator. The regulator, this is a two-place regulator with quick disconnect fittings like you would use for uh, your air compressor. And you simply screw it on hand tight. You don't want to use a wrench. You screw it on like that. 
And then when you turn the oxygen on, the oxygen pressure will actually tighten up that seal for you and uh, make sure that you have no leaks. So these are the Oxymizer cannulas with a quick disconnect fitting, a valve, and the uh, flow meter, and then the mustache cannula. And then you'll also get a mask for in case you go above 18,000 feet or you have a passenger who's having trouble breathing through their nose. Optional accessories include a carrying case, the Altus Mezzo. You can get different tank sizes depending on your utilization and how often you're using it. And you can get different, um, different connectors from one user all the way up to six users. So caring for your oxygen system is pretty straightforward. Your cannulas you want to clean with a 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide. And what I recommend is that every user have their own cannula system just to keep in the airplane or keep with them uh, so you're not sharing cannulas. You obviously don't want to step on or crimp the, the vinyl lines. Uh, um, anything that will, that will uh, stress the, the vinyl will be an issue. Um, and then in terms of the bottle itself, this is an aluminum bottle that requires a hydrostatic test every five years of use. Now if your bottle is more than five years old and it's filled with oxygen, you don't have to empty it and get it hydrostatically tested, but before you get it filled next time, it will require a hydrostatic test. The aluminum bottles also have an unlimited life. What's the best way to configure a portable tank in a cabin? We're in a Cessna 172 here with not a lot of options. What do you, su what do you suggest? So our seat back, uh, our seat back container for the uh, for the portable is a is a great option. It connects right to the back of the seat. I put mine behind the passenger seat, so I've got easy access to it, and uh, it just straps to the seat and uh, keeps it nice and secure, and it uh, doesn't get in the way of the passengers are getting into or out of the aircraft. Um, also, we have a pass a bag that you can keep your can cannulas in, keep them nice and clean and secure when you're not using them, uh, and keep the keep all of the tubes and everything uh, clean and out of the cockpit and uh, it's very straightforward no electronics no um, no batteries uh, just a simple needle valve and a flow meter so we're masked up at uh, 10,000 feet both are uh, our oxygen setups are set for our 10,000 foot altitude what do we show on the app so we've got a, a great relationship with ithra they've developed a whole suite of products that really monitor uh, i call it an engine monitor for your body and that includes SpO2 with a, uh, with a pulse oximeter that fits right here, uh, that comes to the app. There's a CO detector. Uh, and then, of course, the, uh, the Altos, uh, Alto Mezzo, which connects to the oxygen bottle, which uh, Aerox can install right at the factory. So it just comes right on this app, and you can see the, uh, the, the, uh, the gauge. It tells you how much oxygen you have right on your app. Uh, that's, uh, that you have left in the bottle. It also gives you a flow rate, and at that flow rate, it tells you how many hours you have left uh, in your tank. So it's great for situational awareness. There's also some uh, altitude information here so that when you get to an altitude at which you need oxygen, you get a little reminder and an alert to, uh, to tell you to use oxygen. This measures it and monitors it in, in real time, also monitors your heart rate, and um, it, uh, it all comes up right on this app, so you can trend it over time, which is really convenient and uh, you know let you know exactly what's going on with your body in real time and uh, this is also what we're going to use to uh, in, over the long haul uh, adjust the oxygen flow and make sure that you're getting enough oxygen uh, uh, based on your particular physiology because everybody's physiology is different and uh, some people may need more oxygen at altitude some people may need less uh, depending on you know fatigue uh, whether or not you're a smoker COPD uh, stress certainly plays into it. With the app, you can monitor up to six users. So if you've got a Bonanza and you, you know with with your seats full, you can each per, uh, individual person can have their own uh, their their own Illyrian, and then you can just connect it to the app, and you can monitor each person individually. What's nice with the Aerox system is that each person also has their own needle valve and their own flow meter, so that they can adjust the flow. So if you've got an older passenger or a passenger who's got some health issues and they need more oxygen, you can monitor it right on the app and make an appropriate adjustment. The setup you see demoed here prices out at around $1,200 for a four-user configuration, and that includes a C-size oxygen cylinder that's shipped full, and the kit also includes the Illyrian pulse oximeter and a pre-installed wireless tank monitor. Now, the Aerox isn't the only choice. We looked at other portable oxygen systems. You can read about them in the Market Scan article that's in the November 2020 Aviation Consumer.
For Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano, and thanks a lot to Scott Ashton from Aerox for the real good demo. Thanks for having us.